you. <laughs> Welcome the jazz band as they play Mr. Blue Sky. Please stand for the processional and remain standing for the school song and national anthem.
Journey Prize giving of 2021. Although this year has been difficult for many students and staff, it has been absolutely wonderful to see Mountain View's resilience as we carried on and continues this year's theme of Make It Happen. To start things off, I would like to invite Mr Diamond to the stage for his address. Ka tangi te titi, ka tangi te kaka, ka tangi hoki ahau. Tihei Māori ora. Ki te mātou e nui te rangi, tēnei te mihi. Ko ia te tīmata me te whakauti. Ka ranga nui i rungo rā, ka papatunuku i rā rō rā. Ki ngā mātei. Hairi, hairi, hairi atu rā. A kia ora koutou and welcome to the 2021 Mountain View High School Junior Prize Giving. Our prize giving, like many things over the last four months, has had to adapt. So I'd like to thank everyone watching from home today. COVID-19 has once again dominated a significant portion of our year, uh, but we demonstrated resilience and an aptitude to find solutions to the problems that it caused. We've slipped into remote learning a little bit like a well-worn shoe, quite familiar at first, but a little uncomfortable after a while. Robert Frost once said, in three words, I can sum up everything I've learned about life. It goes on. And lockdown did go on. It didn't, however, as some had predicted, spell disaster for you or your studies. Most of you took it in your stride, found ways to cope, and even brought a little humour into your daily routines. Thinking about that silver linings mentality that's so strong here at Mountain View High School, I was reminded of a photo of, the London, of a London pub opening after the Blitz during the Second World War. The windows were all smashed and bricks littered the streets. The sign above the door read, Our windows are broken, but our spirits are fine. Come and try some. The way in which most of you have responded since we came back to school fills me with optimism for your future. You are focused, dedicated, and with the help of your classroom and our core teachers, mostly organised. Many of you set yourselves a plan, and you've worked diligently to fulfil it. Now that the school is, year is finished, however, make sure that you have a break, relax, and come back with the same drive and determination that you've shown this year, and you'll be duly rewarded. In 2021, Man of View High School proved again that it's the place to be if you're into the performing arts. Our production of West Side Story was a great success and it provided many of our students a chance to shine on stage. The cast, which consisted mostly of junior students, did an amazing job, but it was Fire Itty's cameo as Doc that stole the show for me. The jazz band has once again been busy with a number of shows throughout the year. Unfortunately, their tour was cut short but I'm sure what part of the tour did go ahead was memorable for them. Let's hope that next year goes smoothly so they can show off their talents across the South Island. Other musical acts from Mountain View this year included Bring on the Chops, who continued to build their reputation in the performing arts, and at the Smoke Free Rock Quest, Becca Clark won accolades for her singing and took out the best vocal category at the regional finals. It will be fair to say that Te Māori and Māori Performing Arts have undergone a revitalisation in 2021. Kapahaka has made a big comeback this year with a number of our junior students involved and growing in confidence throughout the year. I hope that you continue to build on that in 2022 and come back stronger than ever. It's been another great year for sport at Mountain View High School and I'd like to thank all of the volunteers and coaches who made sure that our students had a chance to perform this year. We wouldn't be able to offer these things without you. Looking at a few highlights throughout the year though, Swimming Sports and Athletics Day showcased our whanaungatanga as the three whanau battled it out for superiority. These competitions set the tone for, a the, for the closest preen shield race in the history of our kura. The junior netball team enjoyed, uh, enjoyed the junior tournament in Christchurch and although they didn't win the competition, uh, the time they're um, bonding as a team will help them come back next year stronger than they were before. Basketball has continued to grow as several of our juniors competed to an exceptional level in regional competitions as a team and then in, in um, wider South Island competitions at representational level. 
We do, however, have a few staff who are leaving this year, and I'd like to take some time to acknowledge them. Uh, Mrs McNaught will be leaving us at the end of year to take up a position at Craighead. She's been with us for four years now, and she'll be missed here by the staff at school. We wish her all the best for her future. Miss Kircher has been teaching mathematics at Mountain View since the end of term two. She stepped in to help at short notice, and she's done an amazing job with you students in our junior school. She'll be taking up a position at Cromwell in 2022, and we wish her all the best for the future and hope that she keeps in touch. Mrs Nethercott will also leave to take maternity leave in 2022. She's settled in this year and is liked and respected by everyone here. We wish her well and for her time away and hope that she returns to us in 2023. Mitch George, our Gateway Coordinator, will also be leaving at the end of this year. And although many of you won't be familiar with Mitch, our senior students would have been lost without her and the work that she's done this year with them. We wish her the best for her future plans and we'll no doubt see her at Mrs M's from time to time. Carlia will also be leaving at the end of this year. She's worked tirelessly to support our students throughout this year. And I know that there are students whom she's helped tremendously and they will miss her tremendously next year. We'd like to thank her for the work that she's done this year and hope that uh, she has a bright future ahead of her. Looking towards the future, we have some ex exciting times ahead. Our Wharanui will be finished within the next few weeks and this will serve as the cultural hub for our community. The ability to pōhiri and share kai with new visitors and whānau will provide a sense of tūranga waiwai for manahiri and rangatahi who visit our amazing kura. In addition to this, the new curriculum will focus on whanaungatanga within the school. A move to smaller class sizes in a whānau orientated environment will help foster belonging within our students. I'd like to finish by acknowledging the work of some extraordinary people this year. Firstly, Brent Coe, our groundsman, who works tirelessly and endlessly to ensure that our school grounds are the envy of every school in the country. No one leaves Mountain View without acknowledging the, about the beauty of our surroundings. Jackie Ryder, our sports coordinator, works easily more than double the time that she's paid for on a weekly basis. Many of, our many of the opportunities that you have here in the area of sport would not be possible without the work that Jackie does. Sally, Mitch, and the Vocational Pathways team, the courses and experiences outside the classroom that you provide our students are priceless. You do so much more than find placements. You ignite careers. Without the work that you do with tradies, ARA, local businesses, and the national universities, many of our seniors would be left wandering until they found two roads diverged in a yellow wood. Thank you for all your mahi this year. The senior leadership team, a big thank you to the work that you've done this year. Mr. Lincoln, Mrs. Peters, and Mr. Capstick live with the threat that at any moment I can come into their office and create hours of work for them and then disappear. The work they do ensures that the school moves forward. I would like to acknowledge and appreciate the work they've done this year. And the teachers at Mountain View High School are some of the best in the business. They do what they do because they, do care, they really care about students. From academic tracking, connecting with home, to coaching sports, organising productions, running cultural groups, facil facilitating whānau councils, arranging activities for the end of the year. And this all happens on top of the hours of planning, teaching, marking and moderating that they do on a regular basis. Teaching is not an easy job. It's not something that people do just for the money. It certainly isn't something that anyone can do. Our teachers change lives. I want to acknowledge the mahi that they've done this year. Mā whero, mā pāngo, o te te mahi. And finally, a big thank you to you, the students. A school without a community is just empty buildings. It is your being here that brings the colours to the canvas. Mount View High School is not like any school I've ever spent time in. And that's thanks to the work that you do on a daily basis. The only thing people remark on more often than our grounds after visiting us are the friendly students who are happy to sit, chat and make them feel welcome. We don't have sports kids or drama kids, gamers or nerds, we have Mounties. E pluribus unum, out of many, one. In the world we live in today, our school can be a shining example of how we let our diversity bind us together and not divide us. And for that, I want to thank you 
and hope that you have a relaxing and rewarding holiday. Nga mihi nui. Thank you, Mr. Diamond. It's been a pleasure working with you and seeing your caring interactions with everybody around you. Now, I would like to invite the Māori Performing Arts to the stage for their performance.
regards to your performance. It is great to have witnessed the growth of the Māori performing arts over the past couple of years. A lot of this development has been down to the hard work of Fai Iri, so congratulations. Now we have the first presentation of module prizes and certificates. I would like to invite to the stage Miss Knowles for the reading and Mr Capstick to present the awards. Kia ora te whanau. Um, I'm Gina Knowles, Junior Whānau Leader for Whenua. Um, I'd like to call to the stage students in groups of four. So for the first set of students, can I please call Jessie Coles, Tyler Corbin, Nathan Gearling and Anna Shea Jones. Um, Noah Brockenshire, Van Johnson, Serena Hernandez. Oh, sorry. Um, so Jesse Coles was for most improved. Tyler Corbin was for most improved um, in the module Runaway Home. Nathan Geerling was most improved for NPR, and Anna Shea Jones was for the Minor Athletics Cup. This is my first time reading the awards, so a um, little bit of a stuff up there. Then for the next group, please, of four, um, can I please call to the stage Noah Brockenshire, Van Johnson, Serena Hernandez and Oliver Tully. Cool, so we have uh, Noah Brockenshire for Most Improved in the Art of Government. Um, we have... Cool. Next, Serena Hernandez for Most Improved Equal in Towns of the Future. And Oliver Tully, Most Improved for Cornerstone. For the next group, can we please have Oliver Barge, Tyler Dunstan Michener, Kushpreet Tor, and Ryan Wilkins? Cool, Oliver Barge gets most improved equal for 100 years and minor boys athletics cup. Kushpreet Tor has most improved for social dilemma. And Ryan Wilkins, most improved for cities. <laughs> Next, can we please call Max Waters, Oakley McKnight, Bailey Jackson and Lily Rose Saunders. Um, so Max Waters gets most improved for Age of Empires and Major Moments in History. Oakley McKnight gets most improved for boarding platform nine and three quarters. Bailey Jackson gets most improved for Māori Performing Arts. And Lily Rose Saunders gets most improved for action movie. <laughs> um, for the last group, we have a group of five. So can I please call to the stage Deacon Cooper, Nathaniel Wickenden, Phoebe Tree Scully, Alex Henderson and Caleb Hay.
Nathaniel Wickenden, Wickenden, beg your pardon, gets most improved for we're going on a Kiwi hunt. Phoebe gets most improved for arts, for arts sake. Alex Henderson gets most improved for Ice Age. And Caleb Hay gets most improved for design and ge geometry and action and most improved equal for chariots of fire. Thank you, that concludes the module awards for Fenway. Great job everybody. Now I'd like to welcome Henry and Joe Ash to the stage. These two have extensive pipe band experience. Henry on the drums, a uh, drum and Joe Ash on bagpipes. Take it away. Thank you, Joe Ash and Henry, for your performance. Awesome to see the beginning of a family band. Now we have the second presentation of module prizes and certificates. I would like to invite to the stage Mr. Martin for the reading and Mr. Lincoln to present the award. Well, that's a tough act to follow, but I'll do my best. Here we go. Can I please invite these people to the stage? Angus Gould, Fraser McLean, Sophie Merrick, Ahmed Talib.
Angus will receive his award for most improved in body engineering and most improved in carrot to tyre. Fraser, second in class for action movie. Sophie, second in class, the art of government. And Ahmed, second in class, Interstellar. <laughs> Could these people come to the stage, please? Zach Allen, Joseph Swallow, Ben Wilson, Samuel Johnson. Zach, second in class, Runaway Home. Joseph, most improved, MPR, second in class, circus. Ben, second in class, towns of the future. Samuel, second in class, body engineering. Cooper Phillips, Liam James, Ray, Riley Gardines, Noah Treber. Cooper, second in class, design and geometry in action. Liam, award for the junior boys athletics champion. Riley, second in class, true to form. And Noah, second in class for Inspire and second in class for NPR. <laughs> Could I please have Rebecca Pooley, Natalia Wesker, Grace Tuff, Purawa Yunahi. Rebecca, second in class for We're Going on a Kiwi Hunt. Natalia, second in class, Art for Art's Sake. Grace, second in class, Olympic Superhero. Purawai, most improved Olympic superheroes and second in class Māori Performing Arts. <laughs> Could I please invite Lily Beck, Caleb Gilbert McKenzie, Georgiana Martin, Luca Kleinsmith and Letitia Lily is the most improved, sold down the river, and second in class, Age of Empires and major moment in history. Caleb, most improved, superpowers, most improved, inspire, second in class, circus. Georgiana, second in class, we're going on a Kiwi hunt, second in class, Ice Age, a journey through time. Luca, most improved, paddock to plate. Second in class, social dilemma. <laughs> and Letitia, most improved, circus. Most improved, interstellar. Second in class, paddock to plate. Second in class, fuel up. Second in class, cooking with numbers. Congratulations to all of you, well done.
done everybody on your hard work. Now I'd like to invite two juniors to the stage who have been a big part of our performing arts this year. Through performances in the jazz band, musical production, Man Has Got Talent and more, these guys have given a lot of time and effort. Performing a vocal duet of Dear Theodosia, here is Noah Kreber and Cameron Hale. Theodosia, what to say to you? You have my eyes, you have your mother's name. When you came into the world, you cried, and it broke my heart. I'm dedicating every day to you. Domestic life was never quite my style when you smile. You knock me out, I fall apart, cause I thought I was so smart. We will come an age with our young nation. We'll bleed and fight for you, we'll make it right for you. If we lay a strong enough foundation, we'll pass it on to you. We'll give the world to you and you'll blow us all away someday. When you smile, I am outdone, my son. Look at my son. Pride is not the word I'm looking for. There is so much more inside me now. Oh, and if you outshine the morning sun, my son. When you smile, I fall apart. And I thought I was so smart. My father wasn't around. My father wasn't around. I swear that I'll, I'll be, be around, around for you. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll make a million mistakes. I'll, I'll make, make the world safe and sound for you. We'll come an age with our young nation. We'll bleed and fight for you. We'll make it right for you If we lay a strong enough foundation We'll pass it on to you We'll give the world to you And you'll blow us all the way Someday, someday Yeah, you'll blow us all the way Someday Thank you, Noah and Cameron, that was fantastic. It was great being a part of the musical this year with these guys and seeing them display their talent through their lead roles. Now we have the third presentation of module prizes and certificates. I would like to invite to the stage Ms. Charters for the reading and Mr. Diamond to present the award. Kia ora. As been introduced, my name's Miss Charteris and I'm the junior whānau leader for Hiwi. Can I have the following students to the side of the stage, please? Lilla Kahinki, Maya Colville, Callum Eaton and Alex Van Dyke. Lilika, not here? Okay, would have received first in class for the age of empires and major moments in history. Maya. First in class in cooking with numbers. Doesn't look like Callum's are here either. He would have received a prize for first in class, true to form. Alex. First in class, Maldi performing arts.
Rhea Jeffrey, Kia Maish, Jade Ridgeway, Bree Snell. Rhea, first in class, Paddock to Plate, and the Herbert Smith Junior Girls Swimming Cup Award. Kira, first in class, Arts for Arts Sake. Jade, first in class, Boarding Platform 9 and 3 quarters. And Brie. First in class equal for I Am Legend. <laughs> Daniel Barber, Alex Barber, MJ Gale, Rowan Waller. Daniel, first in class equal for I Am Legend. Alex, first in class for Fuel Up. MJ, most improved for actions and agenda and first in class equal for body engineering. And Rowan, second in class, Chariots of Fire, first in class, Olympic Superheroes, Junior Boys Cross Country Award, and the Herbert Smith Junior Boys Swimming Cup. Rachel Duncan, Erin Wilson, Jacob Brown, Liam Geddes. These people will have to walk slightly slowly so I can get through this list. Rachel, second in class superpowers, second in class equal inspire, second in class equal NPR, and first in class equal for Chariots of Fire. Erin, second in class equal for Geometry and Algebra and Paper Engineering, second in class for Interstellar, and first in class for Design and Geometry in Action. Jacob, most improved for Fuel Up, Second in class for cities, and first in class for towns of the future. Liam. Second in class equal for 100 years. Second in class equal for ice age, a journey through time. Second in class, leaders and villains. First in class, actions and agenda. Michael Lyon, Daniel Gray, Hannah Keard, Oscar Johns, please. Michael, second in class, sold down the river. Second in class, accent and agenda. Second in class, equal illusion. Second in class, equal cooking with numbers. And first in class, social dilemma. Daniel, first in class equal, 100 years, first in class, cities. Hannah, most improved, I am legend, first in class, we're going on a Kiwi hunt, first in class, the art of government. And Mr. Johns, most improved equal, 100 years, slowly walking please, Second in class, boarding platform, nine and three quarters. 
First in class, illusion. First in class, run away from home. And another first in class for action movie. <laughs> Joe Chow, Emily Duncan, Daniel Chinitsky. And you need to be walking exceptionally slow, you three. Firstly, Joe. Most improved, leaders and villains. Second in class, equal for illusion. First in class, sold down the river. First in class, equal cornerstone. First in class, geometry and algebra and paper engineering. Look out for this young man in the future in the mathematics field, please. Well done, Joe. Emily Duncan receives a cup for the Junior Girls Athletics Champion. First in class superpowers. First in class circus. Two first in classes equal, firstly for 100 years, secondly for chariots of fire. First in class for Aspire and first in class for MPR, but we haven't finished yet, team. The award for the Junior Girls Cross Country as well. Fantastic. Well done. And Daniel. Second in class equal, geometry and algebra and paper engineering. Another mathematician people here. First in class equal, body engineering. First in class equal, cornerstone. And the next three awards are also first in class. And in Stella, leaders and villains, and ice age, a journey through time. Well done, Daniel. And that concludes the set of awards. Congratulations, everybody. Now I would like to welcome to the stage one of our head students of 2021, George Duncan, for his address. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Ngā mihi nui ki a koutou katoa. To everybody here, congratulations and well done on a successful year. We're here to celebrate mainly school-related prizes, but there's more than that. Each, every individual has been on a different journey this year, with ups and downs, challenges and triumphs along the way that may be only known to them. But these small victories are just as worthy of celebration. This prize giving is quite different from normal, but change shouldn't scare us because it can always bring around positive results if we approach it with the right frame of mind. And this is where a massive thanks has to go to our wonderful staff who have adapted to these tough times themselves while helping us as well. We're really grateful for the things you do um, and all of our accomplishments are just a reflection of your work. Year nines, well done on a great first year at high school. It can, be a di it can be difficult adjusting to high school life, and you also had to deal with COVID like the rest of us. But despite this, you guys have done extremely well. In your first pro high school prize giving, you've either seen someone receive a prize or received one yourself. Let this taste of success make you strive for even more. Use it as motivation to aim for excellence in the four years you have left at school. Next year, you will be the role models for the next cohort of year nines. Set a great example for them, and remember, a smile and a kind word can go a long way. Year tens, you guys have successfully navigated junior school, despite both these years again being hit by COVID and the other challenges that crop up along the way. Next year, you will face NCA for the first time. Do not be frightened by it. You'll have to work, prepare, and make good decisions but if you manage to learn how to do that, you won't only succeed next year, but for the rest of your lives. Some year 11s become overwhelmed and drop everything else to focus purely on academics. My advice to you, as we've been pushing all year through our thing, make it happen, 
is to keep trying new things and pushing yourself. There's no reason that extracurricular activities have to be thrown away because of NCEA. I'm sure you guys will all be great. I hope you've all enjoyed yourselves this year. Capped off by your activities and this prize giving, it seems like you've had a fun ending. Take a well-earned break, eat plenty over Christmas and New Year's, and come back next year ready to make it happen even more than this year. Thank you. Thank you, George. I would not now like to invite a sister duo to sing a vocal duet of Space Between. Welcome Emily and Rachel Duncan. you were fine why did you have to hide didn't want to let you down but the truth is out it's tearing me apart now listen to my heart i really had to go and i would never stop you even though it's nothing changed. has to change you can find me in the space between when two worlds come to me i'll never be out of reach cause you're a part of me so you can find me in the space between i'll never be alone no matter where you go we can meet in the space between Nothing can stay the same It's growing pain Be proud of all the scars They make you who you are oh, oh. I know you have to stay I don't ever really leave you Nothing has to change Even though it's changed And you can find me in the space between When two worlds come to me I'll never be out of reach Cause you're a part of me so you can find me in the space between I'll never be alone No matter where you go We can meet in the space between There are no words left to say I know you've got to find your place But this is not the end no. You're part of who I am Even if we're worlds apart It's still in my heart It will always be You and me And you can find me in the space between The two worlds come to me I'll never be out of I'll reach never be out of reach no. Cause you're a part of me so you can find me in the space between I'll never be alone No matter where you go We can meet in the space between Thank you, Emily and Rachel. I've seen and heard all of the hard work you've put into your singing, and I'm really proud of how much you've grown. Now we have the presentation of special awards. I'd like to invite to the stage Mr. Capstick and Mr. Diamond to present them.
morning. I have the absolute pleasure of uh, reading out the special award winners um, for Junior School for 2021. Could I please ask Kenny Gorgonson, Purawai Onahi, Rhythm Rahan Robinson and Rachel Duncan to come to the stage, please. Henry Gorgonson uh, received two special awards this morning. Um, the first one, a Plenatia Junior Trophy for uh, beginner te reo Māori. And the second award, the Brickley Trophy for the most improved jazz band player. Purawai Onahi, two awards. First one, the Newton Trophy for leadership in Papahaka. And the second award, Hei Oranga Anamata Takiaki Māori for experienced Māori. Rhythm Rehana Robinson. Te Tiri o Te Moana Cup for leadership and service. And Rachel Duncan. The Love Day Trophy for Most Improved Instrumentalist and the Junior Diligence Award. Well done to these four. <laughs> Could I next have Caleb Gilbert McKenzie, Cameron Hale, Letitia Park and Rowan Waller to the stage please. Caleb Gilbert McKenzie, special award for top student for outdoor ed in Kiwi. Cameron Hale, the top student for outdoor ed for Whenua. Letitia Puck, the top student for outdoor education for Moana. Rowan Waller, the A.D. Brooks Cup for Physical Education. Congratulations to these four. <laughs> Lastly, could I please have Emily Duncan, Alex Van Dyke and Oliver Jones to the stage, please. Emily Duncan has three awards. Lorraine Hutchinson Cup for Intermediate Girls Singing, the Junior Contribution to Musical Production, and Excellence in Girls Physical Education. Alex Van Dyke, Kimura o Tiahi Māori Performing Arts, Kaina. Oliver Jones, the cup for junior speech. Congratulations to these three. Uh, lastly, I'd like to um, award to a couple of junior representatives uh, the Preen Shield for 2021. So the inaugural presentation of the Preen Shield was back in 1942. This means that this year is the 79th year that the Shield will pass hands. Annually, the Fano um, of our Kura have battled it out um, the Preen Shield, and this year has been no exception. And in fact, it's an historic year because this is the first time in 78 years that the competition has been drawn. There was only two points that separated um, all three teams, and the competition was so close that it went down to Tiarahi in the last round. Could I please ask Caleb Gilbert McKenzie and Amy um, Alden to step forward to receive the shield um, for Moana and Kiwi for 2021. Excellent.
excellent sharing, you two. Uh, I'd like to pass over now to Mr. Diamond uh, to do his uh, Pomanawa Award. Kia ora koutou, there are uh, the last three awards for the evening. So the, the first award is the Pumanawa Awards for 2021. Uh, these awards are given out uh, by the principal of the school in recognition for special skills and talents that don't often fall within the remit of uh, what we do here at school. So this recipient has trained and competed at an incredible level this year in jiu-jitsu. She's competed in several local, regional, and national competitions throughout the year, including competing and beating opponents heavier and older than herself. Her dedication, her dedication to reaching her maximum potential in this arena is commendable, and she has without a doubt a bright future ahead. Her skill, hard work, and determination have resulted in her receiving multiple gold and silver medals, including a gold medal at the South Island Tournament and a fourth-place finish at the National Tournament early this year in Auckland. For her accomplishments in jiu-jitsu, MJ Gale is the recipient of the Pumanawa Award in 2021. Just reading some of MJ's accolades as she walks to the stage, as I said, she received a fourth place finish at the national tournament. She received the, a gold and silver in um, jiu-jitsu at the South Island tournament. She received two golds at the Dunedin King of the South in both gi and no gi categories. And at the Christchurch Southern Series, she received a gold medal competing as the only girl against a competition full of boys and received the fastest submission of 26 seconds. So for anybody who knows anything about jiu-jitsu, that is really impressive. Well done, MJ. So the final two special awards for the evening are the Year 9 Top Scholar and the Year 10 Top Scholar. So for the Year 9 Top Scholar, our Year 9 Top Scholar very quickly settled into secondary school and impressed his, te his teachers and his peers with his enthusiasm, positivity and effervescent personality. Teachers comment upon his maturity and leadership qualities well beyond his years. He's always willing to step up to organise and run activities and assist with tasks. These are made easier by his ability to build great relationships with those around him. Our scholar must be truly proud of his first year at Mountain View High School. And just to recap his academic achievements, he's received most improved equal for 100 years, second in class for boarding platform nine and three quarters, first in class for illusion, first in class for runaway home, first in class for action movie. It gives me great pleasure um, to announce that Oscar Johns is our top scholar for year nine. to year 10. The recipient of this award is characterized by his teachers as diligent, well-motivated, and talented. Staff recognize his commitment towards his achievement and his ability to set high goals and then work towards them. In particular, his skills in mathematics are recognized as a specific strength, as is computer programming. The challenge of attaining top scholar was hard-fought competition this year, with the runner-up being only one second in class behind the eventual winner. To recap his awards, he received second in class equal in geometry and algebra and paper engineering, first in class equal for body engineering, first in class equal for cornerstone, first in class for interstellar, first in class for leaders and villains, first in class for Ice Age, a journey through time, and I was told earlier this week that this student is also 
attempting mathematics work that most people don't see until university. Our year 10 top scholar is Daniel Chanetsky. much. That concludes the Year 9 and 10 Top Scholar Awards. Congratulations. And that concludes the 2021 Junior Prize Giving. I want to say a final well done to all of you for your work this year. Thank you to everyone who has joined us on our live stream today. Could everyone please stand for the recessional while the jazz band plays Runaway Baby. The teachers may leave, and once they have left, all of your students are dismissed as well. Have a good Christmas and New Year. <laughs>